the Ogbo Awoke Ogbo coaching class, which was held at the magnificent Radisson Blue Hotel in Victoria Island, Lagos, attracted professionals from different fields of work. Ogbo Awoke Ogbo gave insight and coaching about the theme of the seminar, which was from hustling to economic peace. Why hustle till infinity? Let's look at common reasons, you know, why people hustle. There are many reasons, but I've just tried to put up a few here. Why people hustle all their lives, especially in this environment. The first is fear. You know, people are anxious about the future. They're very anxious about, how am I going to pay my children's school fees? And of course, everything I'm telling you, I've been there. You know, how am I going to pay fees? How am I going to pay rent? How am I, what's going to happen? Suppose I die, what's going to happen to my family and all that? Now, what happens is they now respond to their fears. So rather than living a faith-motivated life, they're actually living a fear-based life and they're making fear-based decisions. And so when you're making fear-based decisions, you will really hustle, a lot of hustling, because fear, you know, keeps people um, beyond their terror barriers. The truth is, you can't spend money that you can't count. I hope you know that. You also can't make money that you can't dimension. If you can't dimension one million dollars in your mind, you can't make it. You know, and then, if you have a 10,000 Naira vision, you cannot make 10 million Naira from a 10,000 Naira vision. So it's important that the first place you actually want to begin to work is your vision you know, your abstraction of the world, because people think that that's the whole world, you know, but like when I talk with my friend, we see amazing things, you know, happening in different parts of the world, young people are doing exploits, people are doing, and it's the same world, the same materials, the same oxygen, everybody is breathing, the same ideas running all over the whole place, you know, and, um, but yet we're getting very different results because every man thinks that the limit of the world is the limit of his own field of vision. So you've got to do something about your vision, about increasing um, the limits of your vision. Exercises were conducted along with character building sessions. Participants were able to network and also have one on one discussions with the prolific Ogbo Awoke Ogbo. Then, this chicken uh, soup, uh, chicken soup for the soul man, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Jack, Jack Canfield. Uh, Jack Canfield, and then uh, this is Joe Vitali or one of those, you know? One thing. They did that, they did that chicken soup thing. They Consult, they went to, uh, they were refused about 400 times. About 400 or 1,400. One outrageous number like that, you know, different um, publishers turned them down. Then that chicken soup for the soul has sold today more than 120 million. Poop to moms, chicken soup for teenagers. One thing, one thing, not too many things. More time billionaires. Michael Jackson, one thing. All he did in his life was dance and sing. Michael Jordan, one thing. So the problem that we have is that we dissipate energy in so many directions. That's one. And then secondly, we don't stay long enough on anything for it to, to master it. So if at least one of the things I can help us identify today is that one thing, you know, really be, you know, it's like for me, I've identified my one thing, meaning just speak. Your mouth. Just speak speak and write and then since I identified it everything I do because um, we're told that um, uh, Michael Jackson's mentor and producer actually said in an interview I heard him he said that during his concerts when he's preparing for concerts he used to dance 18 hours a day let's hear what the participants had to say about the coaching he met every uh, expectation that I had and he actually gave me some new ideas and I'm sure too, it had a major impact on everybody else that was here too. So yeah, it, 
It was very uplifting, inspirational, and very motivational too, in the same way. I was able to discover some things, and uh, yeah, to an extent, we did. The interactive session, the coaching, was wonderful. The facilitator was quite down to earth and interactive to people. It's giving us some new ideas. Actually, when I heard about the, the seminar, you know, and uh, you know, looking at the topic, you know, it's something that will arouse the you know, eagerness of everybody you want to know. So, though I've been listening to Mr. Ogbo on the phone, but I've not really had the opportunity of, you know, being in a seminar and all that. So when I heard of this one, then I quickly jump at it, and I, I thank God I'm here. Um, I've been really blessed. I've learned so many some new things. You know. The coaching met my expectations. Um, it was four, four hours, four hours of um, quality quality stuff and um, if I would I would say that um, I would creating systems that can reproduce uh, uh, even when you are not there is, is something that is very key and it's something I think I want to do something about systems. Now let's hear what the man himself Ogbo Awoke Ogbo had to say. My name is Ogbo Awoke Ogbo and um, I am into executive coaching, basically helping people to connect with their potential. We find that in this part of the world, you know, people are quite used to seminars and workshops, but these things don't translate to transformation. But I found that coaching and mentoring, actually, I connect with the people better, I hear them one-on-one, -on -one, and I get to understand them and be able to offer them tools and devices and things that they can actually use to have the kind of change that they desire in their lives. And I find out that the content um, that comes from the West many times don't apply to our people here. So they read books written by Western authors on these subjects, but uh, they, don't, they don't connect with these things because examples and illustrations and the metaphors are very different. But I understand our people, and then having been a professional myself, working through Shell and working through Chevron and back to Shell, I connect to what people go through, to these kind of struggles. And um, that's what I'm really very happy to do you know, in this environment. Yeah. Oh, it was really, really amazing and wonderful, just like I expected. Um, I, I, I derived so much energy and joy in you know, meeting with people and being able to connect with them the way that we have connected today. And then you can see from the energy in the room and then from the feedback and the things people have been telling me how grateful they are that um, for some of them, this is the very first time that they are experiencing this sort of thing. And um, that, that's something that they would like to continue to experience more and more. It's really very different because we've discussed things that are very practical, very specific to them and to their situations. So it went very well. We were really very happy with the way it went. To be part of the next coaching seminar with Obo Awoke Obo, please call Rolly on 0808 799 777 for reservations.